Up yet, Gage? Yeah, boy. Finally. Now go shut off that damn alarm. All right. I'm on it. Uh, now where? Ah, there's my next victim now. <laughs> Don't look like much. Here's a quick rundown how this works. You go stalk them, make yourself presentable. Then we're gonna give these folks a show. A show where I decorate these walls here with your lovely brains. Thanks to this suit, I'm the only one that wins this fight. Period. Think you're hot shit getting this far. <laughs> Think again. All right, Gage, let him through. Something tells me I'm really gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Who is this? I'm the guy that's gonna get you out of this alive. So listen up. Smells like food. Messy, tasty food. Hell yeah.
Still on the other end? Yeah. You ready to listen? You still there? Yeah. You ready to listen? What the hell is this place? You make it through this alive, I'll explain everything. You want me to listen? Tell me now. All right, all right. The gauntlet's the overboss's pet project. Lure in whoever we can, however we can. Like that guy Harvey and his poor family. Total bullshit, just to get you here. A decent con. He had me fooled. You can take him out on a date after all this, okay? Right now, I need you to listen up. And why should I trust you? I suppose that depends on how much you value your life. All right, I'm listening. My kind of guy. You made it this far. You obviously got skill. But this fight coming up is rigged. You get me? Over Boss Coulter. His power armor's set up to draw energy from the electric grid in the arena. Damn thing's invincible. You name it, someone's tried it. Miniguns, grenades, not a scratch. You get what I'm saying? Ah, that's bullshit. Exactly why you're going to do something about it. You want to win. I stashed a weapon in the lockers. Get it. Was it a little red gun called the Thirst Zapper? You got it. I already picked that up. That little thirst zapper is going to turn the tables on old Coulter. Yeah, yeah, I know what it looks like. You're just going to have to trust me. Well, I've always wanted one of these. I would have made a great toy for Sean. Oh, great. You're a lucky day. Congratulations. Now we can get on with it. Once the water hits Coulter's electrically charged power armor, the circuits are gonna short out. It'll kill his defenses, but you only have so much time to do some damage before they recharge. You take him out, I promise you, it'll be worth every minute spent in this gauntlet. Consider it done. That's what I like to hear. All right, it's time. I'll open the door. See you on the other side. to the arena is down by 30%. You do that? Not bad.
Go check that out.
this guy? Are you sure, Gage? You better know what the hell you're doing. What did I tell you? Worked like a charm. So you really wanted the Overboss dead? Dead. Out of the way. What's the difference? Either way, good riddance. The plan was a success. <laughs> that guy was nothing. I've had tougher challenges. Bullshit. Without me, I'd be scraping your guts off the floor. I get that you have no idea what's going on, and everything is coming at you real fast. But you need to listen. Taking out Colter wasn't just a last-minute decision. It was something a few of us here have been working on for a while. Now that he's actually gone, we've got ourselves a vacancy in the Overboss Department. And guess what? All I'm asking is that you trust me on this and give it a shot. I swear. Worth it. Let's just say you got my attention. Good. Then listen up, because I've got a lot to say. There are three raider gangs that run the show at Nuka World. The Disciples, the Operators, and the Pack. And yeah, if the names didn't give it away, these ain't your typical raiders. These morons don't exactly play nice with each other. Thanks to Coulter, this place is a powder keg just waiting to blow sky high. One wrong move, and we're going to have a bloodbath on our hands. I think you have what it takes to turn things around and keep these gangs from tearing each other apart. Sounds like fun. Count me in. That's the spirit. Now, I'm sure you got a lot of questions, but this ain't the place. Meet me at the Overbosses, your new quarters, the restaurant on top of good old Fizz Top Mountain. We can talk there. Just let me get that door for you. There.
that last one died too fast. I'm losing my touch. Hey there. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. We expect you to show a little appreciation. We make sure you've got enough to eat and drink. We provide security. Without us, you'd be food for the bloodworms. You can either do your job and earn your keep, or we can throw your ass outside the park. Or maybe you think you're better off out there, alone and unarmed. No, no, I'll, um, I'll get back to work. That's better. Things will get better one day. Excuse me. Oh, uh, hey, boss. Didn't see you there. Seems like every time I fix one thing, another thing breaks. You a sheep or a wolf? Well, hello there, young fella. Welcome to Nuka World. I'm Mira, your friendly Nuka World informational robotic assistant. Is this your first visit to Nuka World? As a matter of fact, it is. Well, that's terrific. We're so happy to welcome you to Nuka World. Now, before you set off on your grand Nuka adventure, let me tell you about error. <laughs> System malfunction. Are you finished wasting my time, you filthy lowlife scabber? Because I'm getting bored, and when I get bored, I get violent. Say that again, and your malfunctioning system is going to be the least of your problems. Oh, was that supposed to be a threat? Don't make me laugh, you worthless pile of brom and dung. You couldn't scare a rat roach. System restored. Oops, sorry about that little glitch. Data logs indicate unauthorized tampering with my personality subroutines. Please contact a Nuka World maintenance technician as soon as possible. Tell me more about this tampering incident. Internal systems monitoring recorded an unauthorized shutdown and reboot. When functionality was restored, several behavioral parameters had been altered. My audio receptors recorded the entire event, and I submitted a holotape recording per standard security procedures. Now don't you worry. Even despite that unfortunate incident, I'm still operating at well over 61% normal capacity. As I was about to say, I have a little tip to help you make the most of your exciting Nuka World adventure. Be sure to collect park medallions as you enjoy our amazing rides and attractions. There's a special reward if you collect a full set. If you have any questions about Nuka World, I'd be delighted to answer them. And remember, any time is the right time to enjoy a cold, refreshing Nuka Cola. No questions for now. In that case, thanks for error. <laughs> System malfunction. You're still here? Get the hell out of my face, you miserable dung sniffing dirt scratcher. System restored. Have a great day. Mason tarred and feathered the last alphas. Ain't been seen since. And it ain't smart to go asking about it. Please, just don't hurt me. So let me get this straight. Some scaver makes it through the gun, takes out the boss, and now we're all supposed to follow him? How does that work? I mean, even a raider. All I know is, Gage was in the mountain the other day and he had a real long talk with Nisha. In private. Gage? Out of hell with that guy. What's he ever done around here? Hey, I'm just telling you what I saw. You want to know more about what's going on? Then maybe you should ask Mason. What do I look like? An idiot? Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. 
I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. ordinary around here have you maybe something hidden shaped like a bottle cap i thought we told you to keep your ass at the market if you're looking for something you can find it there like everyone else i'm not here for the market i didn't travel hundreds of miles to go shopping i don't suppose you came here for a bullet in the brain either so if you want to live i suggest you stay where you belong oh you guys are real friendly aren't you Nisha Nuka really world. only has one rule I've always here. dreamed of coming here, and now I finally made it! This place is amazing, don't you think? Yeah, I guess it is pretty impressive. It sure is. You can just imagine the children smiling and happy, all drinking Nuka-Cola and having the time of their lives. It must have been magical. The name's Sierra Petrovita. I traveled all the way from the Capital Wasteland to visit this place. Maybe you've heard about my Nuka-Cola Museum? You run a Nuka-Cola Museum? Absolutely. I'd spent years collecting all the Nuka-Cola merchandise I could find. It's all on display at my home in a settlement called Girder Shade. I give tours to anyone who stops by. And I can promise you this. You won't find another collection like mine in the Capital Wasteland, the Commonwealth, or any place else. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. What are you searching for? I don't really want to say. It's nothing personal. I, I just don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. I'll keep your secret. You can trust me. Well... Okay. To be honest, I'm so excited I can barely keep it in. It'll be a relief to finally tell someone. I guess you could think of me as the world's biggest Nuka-Cola fan. I've been obsessed with the stuff since the first time I tasted it. I collect all the merchandise I can find, like these awesome Cappy glasses I'm wearing. But these aren't just ordinary sunglasses. They were part of a really cool contest that started just before the war. And oh my gosh, and... The winner of the contest would get to meet the famous John Caleb Bradburton himself! Who was John Caleb Bradburton? Sorry, I tend to forget most people aren't as interested in the history of Nuka-Cola as I am. He was an inventor, and the best thing he ever invented was... You guessed it! Nuka-Cola! So, to win the contest, you had to find ten images of Cappy the Nuka-Cola mascot, hidden throughout the park. Each image has part of a code or something, and only these special glasses can reveal it. Now I know what you're thinking. Brad Burton's long gone. Who cares about the contest anymore? Well, I'm betting that somewhere in his office is the original Nuka-Cola formula. That formula was one of the great mysteries of the soft drink world, and it would be the crown jewel of my collection. If you can help me get it, I promise it'll be worth your while. Sure, why not? Might learn more about the park while I'm at it. Good point. You're new here, after all. You should learn everything you can. I'll give you my cappy glasses and this old contest holotape. It's got hints about where to find the hidden cappies. Just track down the clues and then come back to me once you've found them all. I'm an expert in all things Nuka-Cola, so I'm sure I'll be able to decipher it. Happy hunting! Damn Nuka-Cola song stuck in my head again. Shh! 
Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up to it first. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control, now that you're in charge. If I'm really running the show now, let's get to work. Now that right there is just the kind of attitude I was hoping for. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? I hear you, Gage. Good. I know I'm throwing a lot at you all at once here. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. Hell of a lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate. Take over Nuka Town. Get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was... is... a real mess. Coulter couldn't pull this off? <laughs> he was weak. Didn't deserve to be in charge. Tell me about it. I thought he had what it took, so... I helped arrange this whole deal. Didn't work out. But now that you're here, we got a second shot. You know, I think I heard of you. Some big shot with the Brotherhood of Steel, right? They ain't that different from a raider gang, you ask me. Just try and act all legitimate, but they still just take what they want. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Come on, they're raiders. They ain't hard to figure out. Tell them you like how violent they are, or that you'll... Shower them in caps. Just don't oversell yourself. They'll listen if they're all afraid of me. Okay, settle down. Most of these psychos have seen shit that'd scare your nightmares. They're not gonna be that easy to intimidate. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. Okay, let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right man for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss after all. Just don't screw this up. That last one died too fast. Come on, 
girl, you know we should run this place. Not some little greeny gauge dragon. We're giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up, he knows we'll skin him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as he doesn't get in my way, I don't much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. And make sure the others get the message. The <laughs> new OB, huh? Don't look like much I to reckon me. you're here to talk to Nisha. You talk, She's in charge. talk to Nisha. Hey. So, you're Gage's little pet project. Pet project? What's that supposed to mean? Gage didn't say anything. Apparently, we're not good enough to run this place ourselves. Gage wanted to bring in his own little puppy to replace Coulter. But I guess training a puppy is way easier than getting us to do what he wants. <laughs> and what are you? His grandma? <laughs> if I was, I would have slit that little suck-up's throat a long time ago. Gage will never be one of us. He's a failure. He's lucky we're giving him a second chance. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this... alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. What do you mean by keeping the peace? It means do what you want, but don't get caught. The last thing I need is the operators and Pat breathing down my neck. We can take either of them one on one, but I don't like my odds when it comes to double duty. So keep the peace. It's the only rule we need. This world needs rules. Otherwise, we'll never recover. Rules are dangerous because people start to trust them. They make you think you're safe, but once you turn your back, you're dead. Coulter thought some sort of rule or code made him untouchable. But he found out he was wrong. The hard way. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. How many lives has this gauntlet claimed? Who's counting? It's at least enough to keep the traders busy. We like to send them in to clean out the bodies whenever things get right in there. They don't always make it out alive, of course. The gauntlet never sleeps. I thought it was pretty impressive. Good to see the new boss at least has some taste. I might let you keep that head on your shoulders after all. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here. And never followed through. So you better not screw this up. Because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. I'm the best there is. Willing to bet your life on that? You see, the Disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair. Or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But... If you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. Work for me? I'll get you whatever you want. Good. You're either smart, or you value your life. Either way, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Now, if you're really looking to get on my good side, there's no shortage of work around here. So, if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. Watch yourself, boss, because we sure will be. You put a pretty good beat down on Val. What happened? I was out of smoke since he didn't want to look me up. Things are boring as hell since Nisha.
You're gonna head on in, overboss. All anyone's turned up so far is that he's got that pit boy on his arm. So, our new overboss is a vault dweller. Or ice the vault dweller. You can go. Hey. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> a clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? Taking down an opponent like that? It's thrilling. Sure looked it. Hmm. Perhaps you're better suited to this than I expected. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Max. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Um... Soda? Huh. <laughs> Not quite. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though, by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountaintop. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. My goal is to use this place to make all the money I can. Well, it's about damn time. Hmm. I look forward to seeing your claims put into action. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. And we'll all be anxiously awaiting getting this place back to doing what it does best. Visitors, you get special. Caught one of the traitors. Ain't no one sad food. about Coulter. Just don't screw Turn this up. Turn him loose outside the gate. Yeah, then I got in a little extra target practice. Welcome to the nest, boss. We was wondering when you'd make it down here.
closer look at him. Not sure I'm buying this little overboss thing. Is there going to be a problem I need to solve? Slow down there, boss man. We're just getting to know each other. Name's Mason, the Pax Alpha. This here's our side of town. You might be overboss, for now. But I'm the boss of the pack, and it's going to stay that way. As long as you don't go forgetting that, we're going to be fine. Let's work together, Mason. Yeah, I'm not interested in ruining the gig. If that ain't a lie, then things might end up all right between us. It ain't like anyone's broke up about it. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. Gage says you're the boss now. You're the boss. I have big plans for this place. You're right. Maybe you're the real deal. Well, we thought Colta was the real deal, too. He's leaning in a pool of his own blood. Don't get me wrong, but Colter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. And things were good in the beginning. Real good. But that was a year ago. Then Colter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what we achieved. Things could be worse. Trust me, I've seen it. No shit, we've all seen it worse. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace of caps we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy, not even the disciples. And they're normally a chipper bunch so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast. The gauge put the brakes on that. Got us together. I promised he'd find someone to deal with Colter. I'm not Colter, so that better not happen to me. Yeah, sure, boss. I get it. I do. We're totally willing to give you a chance. We are. Look, let's cut to the chase. You gonna do right by the pack. I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. I intend to treat all the gangs equally. Ain't no two things in this world that's truly equal, boss. Everything has its place. One gang is gonna end up on top, and one on the bottom. It's a simple law of nature. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here, keeping the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop by. Loyalty's a two-way street. Pack lets it all hang out. It ain't easy keeping the zoo. We all do our part. If you ain't standing out, you ain't worth looking at. been waiting for you. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. Never did get white culture brought in three games to come the world. I mean, he got us. Don't need the rest. Uh, 
The overboss returns. Well, if you're back in one piece, that's a good sign. Everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopath? Sure hope you didn't promise them too much. I mean, going a little over the top is part of the game, but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't deliver. All the gangs are on board. I knew you had it in you. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections. Parks, whatever the hell they called them back in the day. We need to take them all back. One at a time. Every section we secure gives us a little more breathing room and more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what, that'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it, but the others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. It's gonna feel good to be in charge. Yeah, you sure will. Be real nice to have this part. Uh -huh. So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together. So I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. That sounds like a great idea, Gage. You've got a deal. You're the overboss. Strong boy! Strong want to kill someday! Someday? Super mutants kill everything. Humans all look funny. <laughs> Strong getting hungry. What? World is bigger than Strong knew. Walk and talk boring. Humans should fight more. Finders keepers, am I right?
Was fun. Oh, Come on. Back to the usual date. It's just little old me. Nothing to be afraid of. Probably doing all the work, but I'm gonna keep it. Queen and country!